Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Kenny, and this is number seven in my short series of videos entitled Ten of the Best. And by ten of the best, I mean uh, ten of the best Christian books that I've read since I became a Christian over 40 years ago. Now, I've looked at different genre of books. I've looked at devotional books, biography, etc. And today is no different. Today I'm looking at uh, uh, a book which uh, has been very helpful in dealing with people's problems and counselling. Uh, the title of the book actually is Christian Counselling by uh, Gary Collins, PhD. This is a, a truly excellent book, very comprehensive, deals with all sorts of problems. And uh, if we become Christians, uh, we will uh, discover that we have problems, maybe th because of our backgrounds or relationships. And certainly as we grow in the faith and God starts to use us, we will meet people who have different problems. And this is uh, a very uh, good book which can give us a lot of information and a lot of wise advice in helping others. Uh, we have the Holy Spirit, we have the Father, we have Jesus within us. He will help us, but God has also given us teachers in the church and he wants us to be wise and to learn from them as well. And certainly the, uh, the spread of topics that uh, Gary Collins looks at uh, we wouldn't really be able to uh, know all that information, you know, even with a, uh, a degree in uh, pastoral care, probably. Uh, this, this, is, this, this gives you uh, pretty much all the information you will require. Now, uh, at the back of the book, it gives you a sort of a summary. It says, this uh, comprehensive guide has been written to help Christians in their counselling work. Each chapter begins with a case history and introduction, followed by a consideration of what the Bible says about the problem. This then leads to a survey of causes, effects, counselling considerations, and suggested ways to prevent the problem. The result is practical, relevant, useful, and up-to-date information for counsellors. And uh, we don't need to be a professional counsellor to help someone. We just need to be a carer. And uh, this will give us added information uh, depending on what the problem a person has. So the author discusses personal issues such as anxiety, loneliness, depression, anger, guilt, all big things that. Uh, uh, people have, you know, hidden things, and uh, it's enlightening what uh, Collins uh, says about about these issues. You know, and uh, we we are sometimes inclined to judge people uh, for their sins, and uh, we don't know their situation. We don't know what led up to. That particular problem we could say you know well they just need to have faith they just need to uh, turn to Jesus and maybe they're very slow and we we become judgmental but we don't we haven't uh, necessarily stood in their shoes so th this this gives us a lot of a lot of in, uh, understanding into what brings about these problems uh, the, it also looks at uh, Development, developmental issues such as child rearing, adolescence, young adulthood, middle age, and later years. It looks at interpersonal issues, uh, interpersonal relationships, sex apart and within marriage, homosexuality, violence, and abuse. It looks at identity issues, which is a big thing nowadays, inferiority and self esteem. Physical illness, grief, singleness, choosing a marriage partner, which is uh, very important. Uh, family issues, premarital counselling, marital problems, pregnancy issues, 
family problems, divorce and remarriage. And other issues such as mental disorders, alcoholism, addictions, financial and vocational counselling and spiritual issues. So uh, he, the mention about the first book he wrote, or the first edition, the enthusiastic response given the first edition proved the value of this book as a resource guide for individual counsellors, including pastors. And it's also served as a text textbook for students and their professors, a training tool for lay counsellors and a source of information for those who want greater understanding of human behaviour, a clearer perspective on the biblical basis of counselling and a greater awareness of the people helping skills. Now, if we have no problems, that's wonderful. And we can maybe say, oh, well, I don't need a book like that. Uh, well, if you have no problems, that, that's truly wonderful. Uh, you've perhaps been brought up in a Christian home and your mother and father were very well-rounded and you had no financial problems or mental illnesses, etc. And uh, but if, if that is your situation, you know, much, much has been given to you, much has been given to you. And uh, perhaps the Lord wants to use you. He, he wants you to look out. And uh, there may be people in uh, your church or uh, further afield who have problems. And uh, you might like to, uh, the Lord might be leading you to try and help them. And uh, this this is perhaps a book for you, a book for you to uh, to study and think about and to pray about. And uh, you can say, Lord, do you want to use me in this area? You know, are there are people in need there. How uh, how can I help them? The Lord also says, to him, too much is given, much will be required, and that's an onus on us all, every one of us. If God has blessed us, God will want to expect a return on, on that. So if you can get this book, uh, I, I certainly recommend it as being one of the best. He, uh, he also gives an example of uh, a, new, uh, a new minister who went to a church and uh, he said, I never thought there could be so many hurting people. The young pastor was only a few years out of seminary. His little church was growing and he wanted to give the leadership that was desperately needed. But his days and sometimes his nights seemed to be filled with an unending stream of hurting people. Each was looking to him for guidance and counselling. In seminary, they never told us that so many people are needy, he continued. They never warned us that a pastor might have to deal with mate beating, father-daughter incest, fear, confusion, threats of suicide, homosexuality, alcoholism, drug abuse, depression, anxiety, guilt, family problems, eating disorders, chronic distress, and a host of other problems. He said, we had one counselling course and never suspected the depth and variety of problems that we would encounter following graduation. So for the Christian minister, for the Christian worker, this is invaluable. And if you're not a Christian worker, perhaps you're involved in your own secular work to a great degree and you've no time, maybe at some stage you will be involved. And it's a good book to have. So may the Lord bless you. And thank you for listening. Bye-bye.